Hey guys, this is Ken. So Canon has announced the new EOS Rebel T4i or the 650D. This is an upgrade to the 600D or the T3i from last year. So I'm going to do a brief overview of this new DSLR. Keep in mind that this is not a review. I'm just going to talk about some of the big improvements, some of the new features and the new upgrades. So let's get started. The button layout of this new camera is very similar to the T3i or the 600D. It has pretty much the same weight and the same size. So overall the exterior design of this camera is very similar to the T3i or 600D. It still has the same 18 megapixel camera, but the big difference is that it has a new sensor. The new sensor is called Canon Hybrid AF Sensor. This is the first DSLR that uses this sensor. So let's talk more about the new sensor. The Canon Hybrid CMOS AF Sensor uses face detection and contrast detection to autofocus continuously accurately focus during video mode and live view. So it's really really useful for uh, making videos and you don't have to manual focus all the time. This is very accurate and you can autofocus fast moving objects. Another big difference of this camera is that this has a touch screen articulating LCD display. Uh, yes, this is the first Canon DSLR that uses a touch screen display. The screen resolution is still 1040k. But this touch screen display gives you lots of different gestures. So you can pinch to zoom, kind of like the iPhone, and you can also swipe through pictures and view them. So this is becoming more and more like smartphones. And personally, I think the touch screen display is one of the biggest improvements to the 600D. This camera also increased max ISO of 25,600. The max ISO on the 600D or the T3i was 12,800. They also increased the continuous burst mode from 3.7 frames per second on the 600D to the new 5 frames per second on the 650D. So you can take faster continuous burst pictures. They also improved the new Digic processor. This is now Digic 5 instead of the old Digic 4 processor. According to Canon, it is 4 times faster and it has a lot more processing power. It also has a 9 point cross type autofocus system. As you can see on the top of this camera, it has a stereo microphone instead of a mono microphone. So this microphone allows you to catch sound from all different angles and it sounds a lot better than mono microphone from the 600D. So that was my overview of this new camera. Of course I didn't cover all the features of this camera. These are just some of the most important improvements and upgrades and features of this new camera. If you want to learn more about this camera you can go to their website canon.com and search this camera up or you can just look for reviews in Google or you can watch other video reviews of this new camera. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video please like and comment down below on what you think of this new camera. Is it worth upgrading? Is it a great camera? And yeah, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day.